good is what i was asking oh what are, is your level good yeah i don't you, know if you're talking to it stop whispering like you is it good yeah talk like a man oh, fuck you asshole <laughs> <laughs> that's good right yeah this is good. who intros the show you or me this time oh, it's, it's, you can do it what's the name of the show what now what now or now? i always confuse them like, me too because it's either now way. what or what now, now what bro what now what oh it's what now yeah what? it was now what what now a what now? Right. Uh, the first time you said no, the it's name. Now what? It's, it's now, now what? what? It's now what? All right. It's good. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll know the name of our show. <laughs> Welcome to the Now What podcast with uh, Joe Fernandez and Mike Gaffney. It's our newest venture we're going to try. I guess a venture. I don't know if that's the proper I word. Think it really is. Venture know. means like at the end of it, there's some capital to be made. Right now, it's just us talking and no one listening. Not a venture. No, nah, there's a few people listening. Yeah, me and you and the guy in the next room probably listening. Still. Oh, right. oh, currently I thought you meant like when they're li- when people are listening to it at home. When you upload it, yeah, it is- other people will be listening. I hope so. Hopefully, not just me, you, and the other guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would stink. But yeah, you know, uh, we decided to do this, uh, try and do a podcast together, and because uh, we always we talk so much, we're like, why don't we just record some shit? Right. So hopefully, we can find the naturalness of our conversations on the phone and at the diner. But, you know, it's got to flow. Think about it, though. How many times you, when you were doing uh, your podcast, we would just talk. Yeah. It very rarely was so, hey, here's a here's a question. Bounce no, it yeah. off of me. It was just yeah. whatever we talked about, we talked about. No, yeah. So. Yeah. And we probably ramble because that's what we do when we're together. We just right. ramble. So. Yeah. So. It's not like it's point. Like it has a point to it. Right. There's no point. So. Ever. So, yeah. So this is this is episode number one, and it's going <laughs> off swimmingly. Uh, I couldn't have asked for more. Loads of laughs so far. It's a great comedy. So podcast. all right, if we, let me ask that question. What and is that? The pressure I have to we have to live up to like loads of laughs. Well, we are comedians. We should try for humor, not try for, yeah, but ah, there we go. It's, you think it's it's just gonna come? Well, it's just gonna come. See, right, right there, someone laughed at that. You know why? Because they're like, these two morons are discussing how to make people laugh, and they're comedians. Right. They're laughing at that. That's just a natural. We're not trying. We're dumb. Right. We don't know what this is going to be. It's Absolutely. Gonna, it's going to grow into whatever it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. So, yeah. What's the name of the show again? So, now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> that's, see, that's what I mean. Every week, we're going to be like, what? Now, that's what people well, are Well, we're going like, to do an opening. We'll, we'll have an opening. People are going to listen and go, now what? And that's when it's going to grow. In six months from now, now what? It's going to be, holy shit, now that's what? And in six months from that? <laughs> now that's what? Now that's <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. So, well, well, now what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Well, how how often are we going to let, let the people know who are listening for the this is our first episode? Right. What are we going to do? How long? How often are we going to upload it? Are we're we, going to try and you had other ideas, man. What were your other ideas? Well, I figure we'll do a podcast a week. I think that's. I mean, who wants to do more than that? I don't. Unless unless they're like, man, we need more, then we will. But they're not. So they may say we need less. Possibly. They'd be like, you guys are putting out too many episodes. Can you scale it back? How many? One a year is pretty good. <laughs> we only want to listen to you guys for an hour a year. Because <laughs> apparently, now what is the same thing every week? <laughs> yeah. The what isn't changing. So if you can just yeah. give us a year update on I your shitty just lives. Like the, the least ambitious podcast. But yeah, we're doing one a year. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You know, we're just going to slowly ease into it. Yeah. How are you going to build a fan base? One a year. It's If it's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good, man. They you know always what say, I mean? "Leave them wanting more." Leave them wanting more. You put yeah. out one. If that don't work, put out another, a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so you also had an idea about a video, maybe. Well, I figured, you know, we get a flow going. Maybe we can incorporate the visual element. Maybe some YouTube. Maybe some live broadcast. But right. you know, I, I got to get a flow before I'm going to put my mind into getting us live video. Absolutely. Feeds and stuff. But we're just letting the people know there may be more to this. There, there may be more. There may be tons. Yeah. But probably not. Because but, <laughs> anybody who knows us probably is like, no, there's not yeah, gonna be a lot more. It's a miracle we got together today. Yeah. <laughs> but we can 
now I can do it from the the computer, from my house, from my from the road, yeah, from you're on the road. Study. We can do whatever. We can. There's many ways to do this. There is, and we're always talking. So why can't we? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I was. You know, that's the whole point. I, of this. You know, my podcast, which I still don't know if I'll ever bring it back or not. It's just. I did the one-on-one interviews, the I Don't Know Joe show, and it's like, it got to be really a pain to, to get people. Right. And I, I hate doing one myself, sitting there by myself talking. A few times it was good if there was like a momentous thing in my life. Like, I had talked about being clean. It was like my clean date, so it was like something I could talk about, but it's like week to week, hmm. I don't have enough to ramble about right. by myself. Like, what, You know what I mean? Yeah, it seems like you're looking for shit to talk about. Right. I don't want to do that. No, I figure I'm sitting here with a friend. We talk shit. Right. And whatever. So. uh, Okay. So this episode. uh, Or when I pulled up, you got in the car. Remember you were talking, you were mentioning something about uh, Facebook and uh, something, you know, a bit you were working on about, you know, not knowing how much. You know, people really love their kids all of a sudden. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just about the face, how Facebook. About Facebook, my my concept that I'm starting to work on is face, like uh, internet reality versus reality. Well, my my thing is more Facebook. Before Facebook, you know, we've talked about like you know dating. You thank God you weren't dating in you the know, Facebook in era. the Facebook totally era. Totally glad I'm not. Yeah, it was so not. Yeah. I'm looking at, and this is something I, I recorded this on my GoPro. I was going to upload it to my YouTube channel like last week. It just is irking me, and it's been irking. I've talked about it on other podcasts probably. It's. Before Facebook, I know people were in relationships and out of relationships, in relationships, out of relationships. But you have like an immediate group of friends. And before Facebook, you had like two or three friends, four friends that you talk to regularly, right? Yeah. And those people, you knew their current romantic situation. You knew that kind of stuff. You right. know what I mean? Like, so if, if Joe broke up with this girl, you knew he broke up with her. And then three months later, he's with another broad. Like, you got, you, you saw it happen. Right. But then there was the people who you didn't, you saw every once, six months, every year, and they were like, oh, you're with Jill, and then like you see him six months later, oh, you're with Jennifer. You have no idea how that happened. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it, it just happened. But on Facebook, you see it go down. Yeah. And you, it is pathetic the way these people are in and out of love every two months. Mu- I can't find... One girl to be in love with. To be, I'm talking love. I'm not talking about fucking. Yeah. I'm talking about love. Right. Right? A relationship. Yeah. That's hard to come by, man. Love is not every good person. No. It's just not the way it works. But these people, I'm watching, and there's if a friend of mine, if, if they listen to this, they might take this about them. And although your current situation has inspired the new outburst of mine, right. but it's a feeling I've had before this. This people break up out of in, in, in heart in this like their statuses are all pathetic. Like, oh, you know what? I'm just glad life is better now, and like all this stuff. And then two days later, they're back with the person they just statused about. And then two months later, they're broken up with that person. And a week later, they find a new person, and that's the amazing person in their lives again. It's like you found another amazing human. Oh yeah. One day later. And a meme to tell exactly how they feel. Oh, my God. I never knew love till I knew you. Ex- Except that's what I said two months ago. Exactly. <laughs> Please don't go down my wall of history because you may see that I've said this nine times. Yeah. Like, you never knew love 20 times this year. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's making me think you don't even know love I, at all. I'm thinking you have you not. Don't, you, <laughs> I don't think you know love, Randy. <laughs> I don't think you've reached your destination, to be honest with you, if you keep thinking you got there already. Yeah. So, the, like this person, one person, a friend of mine, she was in a relationship, it was always up and down, up and down, and the fucking status is always finally going to move on, and then a week later, you know, we talk, like, it, this is nauseating, it's fucking nauseating, you're, some, you're, you're just nauseating this for the public to see that. Right. Because we're seeing how sick you people are. I'm watching people, you know what, as long as I'm done, I've been free, I haven't been so free in so long, it's amazing, two months later, they're back with the person they're so free from, and oh my God, you know, I miss them so much, I'm glad, what are we talking about, and then a week later, you broke up again, it's sick, it's a sickness, and it looks bad, people, stop with your statuses, because it looks pathetic. Yeah, but then they'll just post a meme like, 
if you accept me for who I am, <laughs> you won't mind it. Like, yeah, it, 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 exactly. That's if you equally. love me at my best, you gotta love me at yeah, my yeah. worst. Shut up! <laughs> oh, it's pathetic, man. Right? And we didn't see these sick humans have been around a long time. We just didn't see them. We didn't get to see the sickness. So, like back in the day, when my friend was with Jill and then then with Jennifer. I didn't realize it was one week after Jill broke his heart and he was talking mad shit to all his crew about her. And then a week later he found Jennifer and then she's the best thing ever. You don't see all of that. No. Really. Now we see it yeah, in it's everybody's creepy. disgusting form. It's this, it, it making me ill. Yeah, man. It's, 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 the, it's the modern era. And I can't, and I talked to someone, like, I have a hard time finding one girl to fall in love with. Right now, I'm not talking about I'm the same scale. I'm, a, I'm way on the other end. So like it's like I'm not I'm not healthily healthy balance either. Right. However, when I do find someone, when I say I love them, it's real. If I'm telling someone I love them, you can guarantee you can look on my history. <laughs> I haven't said it. But once, you know, what I'm saying like, right. I don't mess around like that. Well, it's weird because especially it's weird when you see people our age, mm. like, you know, because we have like because being comedians, we have uh, friends on Facebook that range anywhere from 19 <laughs> yeah, exactly. to 60. Yep. So, you know, if I see a, tw- uh, a girl in her 20s right. being all dramatic, you're like, that's that time. It's yes. very dramatic. But when you see someone your age, like that's, 40 years old, yes. like with the memes about the love, you're like, you, you're so immature. Like, you yeah. have not grown up. At all. And that's like, you're not, I don't know if you, you need people in your life to tell you, get that shit off the wall, man. You look pathetic and sad. It doesn't look good. When you put a meme that says, I am so much better alone, you don't mean it. That's why you made a meme. Yeah, yeah. I don't like what people, th- I don't care what people think about me. You do. We yeah. all do. We, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all, don't say you don't. You, do, yeah. you could say it doesn't affect it's how you live. It's aggressive book. Yeah. It's, absolutely. It's, it's like all Facebook is is passive. Absolutely. It's, it's people will talk shit about people and not name them, mm-hmm. hoping that person sees it. Yeah, you know that's all I mean? it is. Yeah. yeah, that's all it is. And that's like the things I'm saying. It's like turning me off to, like, if you're a woman and you do that, and if I was even semi attracted to you, I am disgusted by wow. watching that unfold. Me too. Watching a girl who's in and out of relationships. And each relationship is amazing, is f- pathetic. Because, sister, it ain't real. There's no way you have found the one nine times. There's no way. The one doesn't exist that much. Yeah, and you want to stay away from the ones that post, like, how lonely they are. They'll never uh, find a man. Yeah, that's the other just, way. They're active. It's like, just get your sh- get fucking, yeah. pull it together. <laughs> pull it together <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and don't need nobody. Right. And then you'll get somebody. Right. Possibly that's. It's. I think those are two and the uh, one and the same. Those. Oh, they are. They're the same. It's just a cycle they're gonna have of just shit relationships. And there's this one broad. I don't know how we're Facebook friends, but all she does is post, like, dude, you're gonna you, if you're gonna hate and all this stuff about like talking about like just always talking to someone. Right. 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 And then, like, she was with some dude, and then that dude, they broke up, and then she was all about single, and you know what? It's better than anything, you know, just the way it is, and you know, and you got to treat me best. And, like, for three, four months, she was single and doing that. And then that guy was back, and they were back together with the love of my life is here. I'm like, what the fuck? The love of your life? Do you hear your own words? Yeah. yeah. Do you not hear your own words? Or is your whole life fake? Because all you're doing is saying stuff you think is good. Because how are you always on the other side of the fence? I'm over here. I'm on this side of the track. I'm or on maybe, that side. Or maybe, you know, devil's advocate. Maybe they're experiencing a more interesting life than us. Like, man, she fell in love 20 times this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. Falling in, falling in love is fun. Yeah. <laughs> like she yeah. had all the... She had, like, she had all the good stuff. All it. the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is. In the beginning of falling in love, it's amazing. Yeah. You get 20 times. I mean, being in love is good, too, but, like, the excitement of falling no, in love. No, yeah, she got all the so good maybe, stuff. So maybe we suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe yeah. she's like, <laughs> maybe that's the way. There are probably the people, like, back before social networking that were, like, parked in front of the ex's house with yeah. the music blasting of, yeah. like, their song. Yes. That was their wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was their <laughs> meme. Like, I don't know how to tell him how I love him. Yeah. I'm in the pump. Um, I'll be loving you all my life. Yeah. 
<laughs> her answer you. machine message yeah. is that in song. Yeah. In case he calls, he oh, knows. Remember that yeah. Yeah. Shit? Oh. <laughs> and I, I remember, I vividly remember, like, you know, having relationships with a girl and. You call up and like a song like that comes on, you're like, oh, she's thinking of me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, All right, it works. Yeah. It yeah. works. I want you back. I didn't know you were going to put your song on your answer machine. I didn't know you liked me that much. I mean, that's going out to everybody. Yeah. Everybody who calls. And everybody knows that's a song. Yeah, with yeah. The, you know, that kind of the part. Yeah, I know. I, you're my love of my life. I didn't even know about quotes until Facebook. Yeah, me neither. I, I mean, I quote, but I don't. I didn't. I know never about looked them. up a quote. Because well, you had to go to the library. Yeah, I wasn't going to the library. Wasn't micro fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting the film on. Uh, got any quotes on lost? Being lost in life. Hand you like seven rolls of film. Yeah. <laughs> got to focus yeah. it on the little screen. <laughs> Sometimes when you lose, you gain because it (laughs) isn't. (laughs) I feel better. (laughs) Where can I put this now? I want to tell other people. I'm going to get it tattooed on my arm (laughs) so people know that when you lose, you don't lose. (laughs) I love to do like, I like to start like a website of like shitty quotes. Yeah, yeah. Shitty motivational Mm -hmm. quotes. Uh, Actually, there was like a poster series that did that. It was like demotivating posts. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just uh, don't I just get uh I got frustrated the other day and I went on my on my like on my camera and I just was like what is, are you you went on your camera I said it on my camera like I put it my camera in the car and oh, I oh did you recorded it recorded this whole anger thing and I was okay. gonna upload it to um to my YouTube channel I just never never got around to do it so I'm like then we decided to do this I'm like let's I'll just talk about it with you yeah I mean I guess. I don't know how, like, I feel embarrassed for people, but I feel like, kind of like, it's good to have a venting thing, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's pu- good. if you want to publicly vent, it's good, but just so you understand, it looks sad when you are always counter what you just said yesterday. Yeah. And you cannot, cannot be in love that many times. It's not possible. So you're not real. Yeah, what you're falling in love with is a visual vision of love. Like this one person, uh, my friend, relationship, crappy relationship, back together, out, back together, out, back together, out, back together, out, back together, out. Talk, me and her spoke. Yeah, I'm just you know, me going through some stuff, and you know, I, and finally, I think I'm feeling better. It was only like a week after they, right. for the 76th time, broke up. Right? right, and then she's with a brand new dude, and says the love of my life. You cannot be serious that one week ago you would just finish getting over a guy from a week earlier that you've been with for four years or three years. And one week later, the love of your life, you never know what it felt to be treated this way ever. Holy shit. Maybe he's just that good. Like, man. That, that, that guy <laughs> is amazing. And I'm sure he may be. I'm not saying that. Is it, I'm not saying that the guy that she's put, pumping up isn't great. Yeah. But there's no way you've already found it right, right. to be great. Right. Just because he's displayed himself as great <laughs> doesn't mean that you've arrived spiritually that this is the one. Yeah. That is a journey. Like when I was with Bronca, it was a journey for me to find like, I, you know why I said I love her? I said it twice to girls that I really meant it. Even right. my kid's mom. I just said it because that's what you say. You know, you're in a relationship. I love you. And it's just like it was not coming from anywhere here. It was just coming. That's what you say when you're right. a girl. I did that in my 20s. Just whoever was with me, I said, I love you because that was what you do. Um, but with Brock and one other person, I had no other way to describe how I felt. And that's why I came yeah, to yeah. the conclusion that it must be love. Because there was no other way for me to tell you. I couldn't say this is really cool. I really enjoy being with you. You make me happy. Nothing. There was no way to describe it. So I was like... I love you. I got no other way to say this. And yeah. I said it like that to her. I'm like, I love you, and I don't know how else to say it. What do you want me to post a meme? Yeah. <laughs> do you need quotes? <laughs> do you need me to publicly put it on Facebook? I'm trying to tell you I love you. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say it. I'll do it on every social you platform. Me, I will Instagram I'll go back it. To, to MySpace. <laughs> That's how much I love you. I'll put it on MySpace. 
in case any in case I forget to tell anyone, the two people left on that <laughs> will know that I love you. How about that? And then she goes on. This is like no love I've ever yeah. had. <laughs> <laughs> He's professed it everywhere. <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying. It's <laughs> yeah. So I, I I see, but you know, those are people looking to fill voids. They're not happy with themselves. Well, that's the. I mean, that's well, they the, don't the, have the a, bottom line. Don't ha- I think like you know, my marriage now. Like I, when when I met Carrie, um, I was like totally content living alone, single, mm-hmm. have my own place. I was like, I don't need no relationship. I honestly don't want to fall in love. Right. That's really where I was at. Me and her. It was just kind of like we were both kind of like that. Right. Me and her. She's like, I never want to get married again. I'm like, oh, you're my dream girl. Right. And then, so you know, it's just it was a good process of it's like a good friendship. It was a natural. It, it was a natural thing. process. Right. It was, you know, when I met her, I really wanted to be with her right away. Just like a crush type thing. Yeah. Like yeah. That same like excitement. But it was. I don't know. I think it was just like a perfect storm, like two people right for each other at the time. Because I got to say, it's been nine, I guess like nine years now. It, uh, no drama. Right. Really? You know what I mean? It's like not this like, I don't want to be with you. I don't know if I want to be yeah. with you. I don't know what I want. Like all that right. shit I used to deal with in my 20s. Yeah, yeah. It was right. just like, I, no explanation for it. Right. But that's because you weren't tr- trying so hard to make... Th- her the one right and i believe a lot of people that's all they want is this one to be the one and the reason why i can know because i identify because all my teens and 20s that's all i wanted was whoever was to come near me to be the one i was that guy i wanted to be in love and you pick pieces of shit like that yeah i pick typically i pick people who are just equally desperate to be in love Right, that's what all bad relationships. It's like needy right. people, you know. Yeah. You can't have two needy people. Right. right, and that's who I was. Now I, I, it's a, it's, you said something before, like putting up on Facebook, like hey, you're lo- you're a single. I do it because it's where I'm at, and I'm f- I say things on my Facebook f- for fun. Yeah, like ah, oh, you know what? I was just on, uh, you know, uh, Mass dot com. Not going to get any matches today. Whatever I say, oh, you'll find the one. Ah, I know I would find the one. I'm not worried about finding the one. That was the joke of the goddamn status. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I cried myself to sleep watching Love Actually today. That's all right. It's hard to discipline your kids when you cry yourself to sleep at night. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah. Not, oh, my God. Don't you worry. Every pot has a lid. No shit. I know everybody has. I'm not quite. Every pot has a lid. Unfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I... I'm not ever reaching out on Facebook for help. Right. I'm not crying not for help. relationship help. No. No, I'm not <laughs> putting it out there like, hey, man, somebody reach out to me. I'm really lonely. I know how to make phone calls to my friends. Yeah. If I was feeling that desperate and lonely. Yeah. There's some days I'm single and like you feel like, oh, man, I really, I really wish I wasn't so single. Well, one thing I learned about Facebook Everybody's lonely and nobody wants to be with each other. <laughs> Cause for I have let's let's just we'll just say I have a hundred hundred people on Facebook, fifty lonely. Like you have lonely girls, lonely guys. Everybody's lonely. I can't match any of them up. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> nah, he's on his street. Nah, nah, what what is about them? You right. don't even know. How do you yeah, know? Yeah. I don't like the way it looks. Oh, there it's where it usually lies. Yeah, it's always looks. It's not looks. I'm looking for a guy. It. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell Carrie that all the time. I'm like, I guess I, I was like, I must have great personality. Because, <laughs> 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 but it's is it beautiful? She's like, you're. Cu-. She's like, no. I always thought you're you're cute. And I'm like, I really. No, <laughs> I just really think you were tired, <laughs> and just you're like, well, he's nice. He's nice. Yeah, he doesn't me. beat me up. Like, yeah, he's not gonna. He's <laughs> harmless. Yes, I felt just, like yeah. I was picked at like like somebody pick a pet. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what? He's gonna give me the least trouble. Right. Like <laughs> like there was yeah, a bunch yeah, of cages yeah. of sad sacks. <laughs> there was like the exciting guy. They're like, nah, I had one of those. <laughs> like the yeah, dog. Yeah, like I've already like, had that good. relationship. Yeah, yeah. And there's Joe, just like. I don't even know what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of sitting there and it's just like, I'll take him. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah. low maintenance. I'm easy. You're like a hamster. I'm house trained. You're like a hamster. I'm a hamster. Yeah. <laughs> or a goldfish. 
Yeah, probably gold. I don't know. Goldfish? What a yeah. lame existence. Just swimming there looking out the window yeah, all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, what are you going to do? I'm going to go look out over here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think people too, put too much too much expectation on the relationships. Yeah. Well, you have too much expectation. and people that just jump into any relationship. But I, I bet if I was had a scientific uh, experiment, most of those people that post those things and fall in love every day, you guarantee that person, they're always going with the next piece of shit. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. There's just, when am I going to yeah. find the nice guy when you stop going out with pieces of shit? But, in, in, but they are so needy. It's, the, it, it's like this. like you, They don't show they're needy. But when they're falling in love every 10 minutes, that's how needy you are. Yeah. You can't be alone. You can't even love your. You can't love yourself enough long enough by yourself. You have to find some fake love. Like you want him to be this perfect. I remember. That's why I, I mean, it's maybe why it aggravates me so much because that's exactly how I was for so long. I would put people up on a pedestal like she's awesome and like even like my kid's mom i could say this now she was young she was young right and like my f- friends were like all my friends were like dirtbags they're like bang her bro but don't be in a relationship with her like which is insane to say like, dude i'm going to her fifth grade graduation yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> so they're like but you can bang her bro she's hot but don't get in a relationship because she's too young she's got nothing for you and I used to lie and say, she's, oh, she's very, she knows how to talk. And I would make her be. At your level. At my level, she was. At your age, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah no, dude, we got to, dude, she's so beyond her years. Yeah, absolutely. She's beyond her years. Do we have conversations deep? Yeah. Oh, she never even talked. Yeah. But I would say, I know like, she's oh. six, but dude, she's like, she's 12. Dude, at least 12. <laughs> it's almost like a high school girl. <laughs> dude, she's. Uh, dude, you would think she's in high school the way she talks to me. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, a little too young, but <laughs> but like I, I would talk her up, and then I put her up on this pedestal that she never even achieved. Yeah, because I wanted her there. Every girl I ever been with, I put them on a pedestal that they never even got to. But because right. I wanted it so bad, I just made them that person. Yeah, and then two months into the relationship, they're not that person. And I, but they're there. They have to be there. So, but I've invested. And now you're hooked. I'm hooked. I got to stay. And now you got to stay. Yeah. It's, yeah. And now you're afraid to be alone. And now it's like, it's just that's all the needy. It's all the needy. You're afraid to be alone. You put them where they don't belong. You fall in love with everybody just because you don't want to be alone. You have no confidence and hope that you're going to be okay by yourself or with somebody else. You just have no confidence. Yeah. You have no hope. Yeah. That's why young, it's tough to date young people. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was single, like, I'd date, like, girls younger than me. Then she'd be like, we're going to go meet my friends at the diner. Like, okay. And I feel like I'm a parent. I'm like, stop that. Stop that. Stop doing that. Come on. We're out. Like, everyone was so immature. I'm like, I got to get out of here. They're bending forks and making. They're ruining the place. I'm a grown man. I can't be here. But, yeah, you put them on the pedestal. you mm-hmm. Your mind will make you, but you can convince yourself of anything. Anything. But it's only, you have that power when you're so lonely and insecure inside. When you're so needy inside. You're why are we so needy? Like, but I'm saying there's a lot of people that want people and there's a lot of people that don't have nobody. Like, how come these people aren't finding each other? Like, what's the freaking problem? What's the problem? Like, like. Just because you're needy, I mean, there's a person out there for you. Like, what, it, it's got to be all about looks. Yeah, but yeah, no. But I'm saying the needy people. It's unhealthy to be needy. It's like, for, uh, but everyone just, wants love. No, but that's not need. Yeah, want. Like, I would. I want to be in a relationship. I would like to be in a relationship. Right. I don't need to be in a relationship because I am happy. I enjoy my life and I'm good. And not one woman on this planet will make me feel better about me. I feel pretty goddamn good about me. Right. So that's not needy. You know what I'm saying? I would like it though. It'd be nice because I would like, like I watch people in relationships and I'm like, there's this one couple in, in the program who uh, I would see them like dancing on the like dance floor and like her, I told them this too. They just got married, they just had a baby. And I saw like he, her, her man was just dancing, like doing some crazy dance. And she was just looking at him with like this look of like, she was just so in love with him. Yeah. And just watching him and smiling for him. And I was like, I want that. I want my girlfriend to just stand there and watch me do something awesome and just be smart. Like, it just look really, like, nice. Yeah. So I see people, and I'm like, I would like that. I would right. love that. But I also, 
I'm not needing it. I'm not going, oh my God, please, someone help me over here. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm just traveling through life. And if it works out, it'd be great. If not, I'm going to be fine regardless. Um, when I was needy, I would take anything right. that comes along. That's why those people who are needy, there's people who are needy and there's me. right? Say, say there's a whole group of people who are needy and there's me who's not needy. We're not matching up. I can see right through these people. Because as soon as they get to me, their need is overpowering. And I could see that everything they're saying about me isn't even accurate yet. When somebody gives me tons of compliments or tons of reasons why they're into me, before right. I've revealed half of them, yeah, yeah. I'm turned off. Yeah. It's like, how do you know that about me? You're just amazing with things. Like, you don't, you never see me do these, these things. Right, right. You're just creating a good guy. I'm not going to be that guy yeah. because I'm going to fall. I will not live up to that dude, and you're going to leave, and I'm going to be in some shitty-ass relationship because I bought all your bullshit. I'm good. You know, I'm good. Bronca, like I just used her as a reference as my last relationship. She slowly gave me what I wanted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She gave it to me, paced it out until it was – because was, it was authentic, I felt. Yeah. You know what I mean? You sound pretty needy, Mike. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> very complex person. Jesus Christ. I am complex. You're very complex. I'm all right with that. See, but like, what's the pro- like? I remember, like, when I was single, I was I wasn't falling in love, but I dated. I like always hung out with girls because you never know if you're going to meet someone. You know what I mean? But I would never f- fall in love with people. Right. But I do, even it used to be like sometimes. Like, even if I was dating a girl for, like, a month, a couple weeks, right. having a good time with her and whatever, it fell apart, she lost interest or whatever, it still was like, oh, it kind of hurts. Because yeah, yeah. I wasn't in love with her, but you're like... Oh, no, absolutely. But, like, you know, you I, you just got to keep, keep going. You take that... Per- like, you're with a girl a couple of weeks, and you're into her. It's disappointing when she's not into you, and yeah. it kind of hurts. Like, not, like... Love wise, it hurts like your ego and your you're like, what the fuck? I'm not good enough. You don't like me? What's up? I'm not hot. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean, there's a lot of things that run through your mind. That's yeah. a normal person. Yeah. You're supposed to feel all those feelings. Right. What you're not supposed to do is try to be something she wants, so she will take you. Oh yeah. And that's what a needy person does. Right, right, right. You know what right, I mean, right, yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, I know a person that tried becoming religious to keep a guy. Right. And. It was so funny because she was so, like, fun and not religious. Right. So, like, you'd see them together and you're like, that's not who you are. Dude. Right. Well, you, you, <laughs> right. You, you, you fart on us. Yeah, right. Like, like, you, like she's like a, like, she could hang out with the guys. Right, right. Dirty jokes and right. say foul shit. And she's with him. She's all like, hmm, hands on the lap. You're uh, like, oh, come on. <laughs> Did it work out? No, of <laughs> course not. <laughs> <laughs> he broke up with her. I think he read through it. Because that's the thing. See, that's the thing. Like, the people, when She's you're going like, to be in a relationship, me. they're going to want you. Yeah. It's like when I was on Last Comic, I tried to be what they wanted instead of just being me, which is what they wanted. Yeah. Duh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I try to be this person they wanted, which they already wanted. It was me. If you get in a relationship and you're trying to be something they want, nobody, nobody is that's not real nobody's gonna love that i'm still baffled that carrie likes me for me i still like 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 when i'm like i'll like i'll catch her laughing at me i'm like what she's like you you just yeah you're silly you just like the things like girls used to get annoyed with me at, right right like i'd be like what happened right you i just can't take you so doofy and immature or whatever i'm like i see I that's know. a good that's love yeah but it's like i still am like I, I, i'll ask her i'm like like she hates, she gets, she'll laugh at me when I do this. Like it'll be at night, it'll be in bed. I'm like, do I annoy you? Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> is it too much? I'm not trying to, but sometimes I feel like I am. Right. She's like, you're fine. I'm like, I just must annoy the shit out of myself because. <laughs> 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 like I, I remember one time, like I just rolled over. Like we we're just sitting there quiet, and I just rolled over. She's like, well, I'm like. Do you hate me? Right. She's like, no, I didn't think that. I'm like, I just can't figure out why you like me. Right. She's like, why do you feel like that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's well, baffling because up until I met her, I never was with someone that I could feel comfortable being myself 100% around. Right. Like, I don't, 
I don't pretend I'm any from day one never pretend that I was somebody else. Right. Even like even with that little you do at the beginning. Yeah, no, yeah. Because at that time I was just jaded. I'm like, fuck it if she don't like me. Right, right. I'm being her and she's like, No, I like it. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm doing everything. But that's how you know that this is a loving relationship. Because yeah. it doesn't happen. That comfort doesn't come with all of them. Yeah. It's the same with me and, and, and her. And I that's why when it was over, I was like, man, that sucks because I don't feel that where I can just be totally comfortable with everything about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking my whole physical appearance being, I know it's a man thing and men don't give a shit. But I, maybe I'm a girl. I don't care. Being naked in front of another person, I'm not always comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But with her, I was. Yeah. I just didn't think about it. it was just, I was just comfortable in my own skin around her. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't come often. Hence the reason why when it does, that's when I know I got someone. Yeah. You know? So what are you trying to say, Mike? Do you want a relationship? Is that what you're trying what? to say? No. No. <laughs> no. No. If, if you're listening to this, don't fucking be. That's like the people on my statuses who think I put that up there because I want to talk about being in love. This is a cry for help from Michael Gaffney. It's not a cry for help. No, he's, this will be the last of no, the I now what? You got sparked because you were annoyed of people's Facebook posts. Yeah. It, it, I'll take... People being like that on Facebook any day over the political rants, though. Yeah. Totally. I, I hate dumb people. I hate... You know what? I It really bothers me when... It, it doesn't bother me. I see it a lot. It bothers... Uh, the, the statuses, the, the things I was just talking about, and the political thing, bothers me when it's someone that I know personally, like really know. Yeah. When I see it in those people, it turns... It makes me ill. Political freaking rants with people I really like, like no, to see them rambling with nothing to back them up, but some shit website they read something on, like no personal knowledge. Yeah, like that. They just hit the me. share button. Yeah, or the curmudgeons. This like the ALS ice bucket challenge. Oh, people yeah. are like it's not gonna cure ALS. No so shit, like, really. It's about awareness, dumb fuck. You, so you're telling me to pour a bucket on my head doesn't cure it? And, and the, uh, there's a, a girl I know who used to live in Woodbridge. She lives in California now. Her father used to work with us and stuff, and he had ALS. Right. Passed away, and she uh, opened up a charity. But she posted, she goes, you know, to all you people that were griping about the ALS, I'm happy because you kept it in the news feed. All you're bitching about it. Right. And, it and it got it to what it should be. What, it kind of like. Derek so, Jeter did it. I know. Steinbrenner's daughter did it, and then said she would donate $3 for every share of that video on Facebook. So I shared it and everything. But people, right. enough with the ice bucket. If I see another ice bucket, I'm going to unfriend you. What the fuck kind of miserable existence do you live in? Yeah. Are you telling me that the ice bucket thing in there you, but the relentless posting of cats knocking things off counters right. hasn't? Right, right. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, really? Come on. <laughs> like, I just like I did it. I did the ice bucket challenge because why not? Right. It's a fu- like wh- why do we always have to be so freaking cool? Like I'm right. too good for that. I ain't doing it. it doesn't do nothing. I'm just gonna write a check. Then write the why check. not do both? Yeah. Why not do both? Why not have a little fun? Or put a video on or said I wrote. You know what? I'm not gonna do an ice bucket thing. But the other challenge is if you don't do it, you have to give a hundred bucks. And that's the challenge I did. I just gave a hundred dollars to the charity. Thank you guys. But you can do an ice bucket challenge if you want. Like, whatever, make a video. If but you're don't really bitch about don't it. bitch about I hate it. Hey, people, they gotta be so cool. Yeah. Like with anything, whenever there's like a trend going. Yep. Uh, they always got a bucket. People have to buck the trend. Absolutely. Like, enough with this. It's like, yeah. Why? What Somebody, makes you the like? Especially, I think the funniest posts on Facebook are the people that bitch about people that bitch. They don't even yeah, see the irony. I know. In that. I know. It's like the, I used to say this in meetings. <laughs> people are like, you know what, man. I don't judge. I don't like people who judge. I'm like, I'm like, well, then you just, you don't like yourself because you're judging the judge. If you're judging even the judger, you're a judger, you fucking moron. You can't hate the people bitching by bitching about people bitching. That's. Uh, I like the warnings. I'm going to. Uh, going to. I'm yeah. going to go through it. Go going through my, my friends list. list going to start deleting people. Then just do it. Yeah. Stop looking for the attention. Yes. Get a yeah. bucket of ice. Put it over your head. Cool down. Yeah. <laughs> fucking assholes hate I hate them I have to start unfriending those people but I don't yeah. want to give them the satisfaction because I'm not like that I don't care I don't it, that's the, I, I, it bothers me but not enough you, to post about it but it bothers me that people are so negative I think that's, if that's what social media show me it's like the negativity yeah. I mean 
like I like the way my mom does social networking. She'll throw a couple cookie recipes off. Right, right, right. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Very positive. Yeah, yeah. You know, very. Oh, this this little boy's got cancer. Maybe share some. You know, a yeah. phone to go fund me. Help him. Yeah, yeah. Like what? And right. the, like the amount of comedians. It shocks me how unfunny they are in there. It's just ranting without a joke. Right. You know what I mean? And the, like, it's amazing. You know what I'm wondering? Now, as a, psycholo- a psychology kind of point of view, com- a lot of comedians are extremely unfunny and miserable and bitter, angry. Right. And just bitching for no reason whatsoever. I'm wondering it's because all day long you're trying to be funny, trying to come up with something funny, and then when you're not, it's just like... I hate everything about life. I wonder if that's what it, it's not my case and probably not your case, but you think maybe that's why? Like, cause you're always trying to figure out the funny in the pressure. The pot of not funny fills up. Like you got like, that will be funny. I can make that funny. I can make that funny. Like, oh, this is annoying. This is, and that pot of unfunny fills up. Like, I just gotta be like, dude, not having fun right now. You guys suck. I wonder if that happens. Maybe, you know, maybe, or they're just not funny. Well, yeah. Like they just can't like. I, I just don't like the negative. Like I saw someone post yeah. yeah the about the ice bucket challenge. And I, I I like the guy and he was like you know is this really gonna what is this really gonna help cure it and and like it's like dude it raised what like twelve billion dollars so far something like that four billion dollars so far whatever yeah. it is yeah all of last year it's already doubled that doubled all of last year and we're in August so I don't know I don't know what it's doing it's getting no more money. It, it's Who getting, cares? It's working. Who cares? What's it doing to you? Yeah. What's it really doing to right. you? And and then why then, are you too and cool then you to get, do? And then, like, then you get, because of this Ferguson thing, we should be focusing. All right, yeah, we focus on that too. Well, focus on that as well. But you can't say, well, because I just poured a bucket of ice on my head that I'm not interested in what's going on in Ferguson. Yeah. Of course it's not going to cure ALS. That wasn't the last step the doctors were looking for. Yeah, exactly. You know, we've been, it's been baffling us for years. Thank God someone poured a bucket of ice over their head because yeah. now we cured it. Right. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. Right. It's like it, I, I was arguing with a friend of ours about that. Like I was just saying, the same. those are the same type of people that say like with pharmaceutical companies, they're like, they're not in it for the cure. There's yeah, no yeah. money in the cure. And I, I argue with them I'm like there is because these companies don't want to continually start from scratch or recharging new drugs, spending billions of dollars for something that doesn't work. Right, right. They want to find the one they can sell you and just live off that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, I, right. it's like, it, I was like, okay, when we talk about UFOs next, like yeah, these yeah, people, right. you can't. No, you can't. Same get people them. that say like we never landed on the moon. Like, yeah, it's not <laughs> crazy. You can you can't, you can't. There's nothing you can do about it. That's why I don't. I try not to engage politically. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On on Facebook, that's like when Robin Williams died. Listen, it's it's been well documented that he's had addiction battles his whole life. He relapsed after twenty years. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, most addicts I know also have depression, and you couple addiction that into it? and depression work hand in hand. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, I I I've, I speak from experience of having it, right. and a lot of people in my life doing it. Right. So when he died, I took a quote from one of our readings, and I said, uh, "Addiction is a cunning enemy of life." R.I.P. Robin Williams. And this one guy's like, he wasn't high. Now, mind you, like he just died, and there's no toxicology. I, was right. like, I said, well, who said he was? Right, right. Who said he was? I said addiction. I didn't right. say he overdosed. No, yeah, you didn't. And this is a person in recovery. That you didn't died. say drugs. It's like, why you got to start a fight? Right. Why? And I said, who said he was? He's like, oh, I just thought you were saying what well, you thought. Well, why don't you go on your own fucking wall yeah, yeah. and rant? <laughs> it's like, you knew the point I was making. Right. Uh, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you get the toxicology reports? You know that he wasn't. <laughs> I. But it was like, and, and people just no, fight because about that. They always find something to fight. They about. loved it because it's easy. It is so easy to get groups and groups of people to like your statuses and like your comments when it's negative. It's so much harder to get people to like your shit when it's positive. Yeah. If you said, you know what, man? I had a good day today, man. Life, uh, life is good. Three likes. Right. Yo, I was just in Dunkin' Donuts. Let me tell you something. They don't start getting fucking two cashiers at that place. I'm never going back. I hear you. Blah, blah, blah. 900 likes, 76 comments. Right. Well, same thing when people are like, oh, 
uh, like especially when Robin Williams died about depression and suicide, it's like uh, people should reach out. You should reach out if you want to kill yourself. It's like that don't work. I go, you guys don't want people to reach out to you. You don't. I'll prove it by your Facebook feed. Yeah. If I was to post that I'm miserable, think about killing myself, I'd get no response. If I, I post a picture of my puppy, my new puppy, 140 likes. Right, right, right. 140 likes. You want to like my puppy thing. You don't want to yeah. deal. You don't want to hear me talk. Right. You don't want to hear me talk about depression. Right. And it's just, ugh, just tired of everyone so negative on there. Just everything's a negative tone. And you're just like, you're like, this can't be healthy. No, this I don't know, man. The Robin Williams thing upset me, and someone said, "Like, uh, wasn't he a joke thief? Why are you upset that, that he died?" I'm like, I was like, first off, I never even loved Robin Williams for his stand up. Nobody did, really. I mean, I I couldn't it, quote a Robin Williams stand up joke, right? But I loved all his movies. Maybe not all, but the majority. Uh-huh. I can't put it this way. I never hated one so much. I'm like, oh, remember that fucking movie, right? But I love, he Popeye. was such a, I, Popeye. Dude, let me tell you something about Popeye. <sighs> when I was a kid, though, because you were I young enough. I love that movie. I watched that movie along with the Goonies till the tape broke. Rewind. You rewind. were young enough for it to right. be. As an adult, I realized it was bad. Because I was a teenager. How old are you? Yeah. I'm 39. All right, so I was, I'm 45, so I'm six years older than you. So when Popeye came out in what, 80? I don't know, but I, loved I was it. already, t- I think, too old for the, Buy that horse shit. It was horrific. Dude, I, I had my own corn cob pipe. I used to. That's it. I used That's to talk on when I used to watch it. Really? Oh, I'd have it. <laughs> what I am, what I am, what I am. I used to do the whole song. Really? Love Popeye. Well, that's great because it's a great my memory My mother would draw you. an anchor on my arm. Ah, so so that's a, a little Popeye arm yeah, when yeah. I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked that. Loved him. Yeah. But I loved him. Like, he's one of those. Like, I don't watch a lot of late night talk shows. If Robin Williams is on, I'm hitting my DVR right. to record it. He was just. That guy, he was great. Anytime he was in it a upset public me forum, when he died. it really did. Me too. I, I, I tell everybody, I haven't cried this much. I didn't cry in no, dude. I cry. I don't care. I cried. A little bit needy. Enough. Put a meme needy. up, Mike. Uh, I cried so much. T- two days, like two different days. I mean, yeah. I was just like, because I think I identify with him so much with feeling like you're so hopeless that. And I felt bad that he felt that hopeless because I know what it feels like to be hopeless and to feel that hopeless and to want to cut on yourself and know that it must have hurt so much that he couldn't get it to go through. And he's like, screw it. I'm just going to hang my that desperation. I know that. Desp- I was telling Carrie I, about yeah. that. I was telling my wife the other night because it was back in my, you know, it's been many, many years. I mean, back when I was using, I just I'm like, I don't want to live like this. Right. I remember cutting. And I don't know why I didn't. Right. You know what I mean? You just don't know. But, like, you, I know that. And I told her, I said, that that upsets me, too. It's like, because I know how down you have to be to be alone in, in that situation where you have a blade and you're right. ready to cut. And that was his, like, he his last feelings on earth was despair. Exactly. That's why. His last that's feelings in life was despair. Heart. And then you got the other angle. You're like. Like I heard somebody say, and I thought it was a very poignant way to put it. It's like if Robin Williams say had like well, they said he he had early signs of Parkinson's, right? All right, yeah, let's yeah. say he had an illness. He's been battling for sixty three years, keeping it at bay, and then finally he succumbed to it at sixty three, right? Some you know a you know a cancer or Parkinson's. You'd be like, oh, what a shame, right? He really fought a hard battle. People don't take um, mental illness that way. He could have been fighting this for sixty three years, right? I've been fighting this mental illness for it's time, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like some people say it's su- like I understand when people say suicide selfish. I really do. I understand it, but I um, I also understand. I know someone who who had a loved one kill themselves, and they learned in their support group that you can't think of it that way. It's almost selfish of us yes. to want them to live miserable, right? So that we don't have to mourn. Yeah, we do love them, but you don't under like I don't think people can grasp mental illness on that level right like we're like total desperation just like people can't grasp addiction yeah like people that like how do you just stop yeah exactly just stop it's like yeah yeah Yeah. i know i know that was an option i know uh you happen to be an asshole how come you don't stop yeah right right. i don't know (laughs) (laughs) yeah it bothers me that people because they don't suffer from it just can't can't accept the fact and admit like you know what i don't understand i don't understand it 
and just be all right with not understanding how it happens. Yeah. Just be all right knowing that it does happen in people, and we don't we don't know why it happens, and neither do you. So just don't worry about why it happens. Just know it does. Right. Especially an, an older person like that. A teenager, that's a little different because it's like there's the you know they might adolescence be through your twenties is like a till you find your way in life is a volatile right. time, and you you feel like. You don't know if that's real depression or just having a tough time with life. Right. You know what I mean? Like finding your way. Right. So I think that's a little bit more sad. You don't, you know, because you always feel like, like I think about that now. Like I, I tell Carrie, I'm like, I think I can vividly remember that day I wanted to commit suicide. And, uh, and what upsets me when I think about it is all this great life that you would have missed out. I would have missed. But the difference is, is I don't have clinical depression. Right. I have, I had addiction. That had you know I have like I I I mean I'm no psychologist but like a mild depression I think it was part of the addiction I think people that commit suicide they just do it right you know what I mean I mean I don't know Robin Williams story if he's attempted it in the past right right I don't think because you would have came out already yeah he because he was an honest guy yeah about all his struggles with his addiction he talked Mm -hmm. about it on stage in interviews he talked about depression but he never talked about suicide right well I can tell you there's Two times, I mean, once when I was active, I, I don't know, I never had, I never put a thought together of killing myself. Yeah. But I felt there was no way I was going to live a good life. Like, I just felt like there was no way I was going to be okay. Right. And that is the step before you say, fuck it, I'm just done. Yeah. And I did, and then when I broke up with my kid's mom in 1980, in, in 99, I could not get out of bed. Six months, so much that the manager of Home Depot let me take a leave of medical absence, and I wasn't even prescribed that. He just let me do it because I could not function. And my buddy Dave came to my house one day to visit, and I was sitting on the couch, and I looked like a psych ward patient. Yeah. I was just like, the stare, and he's like, you, my friend, are going to a meeting. Let's go. He took me to a meeting. And I took me about three weeks, and I finally came out of the fog. But I never felt so lost and like hopeless. Like it's not my life will never be good, mm-hmm. and I'll never be good. My brain will never function like a normal person. I'll never be able to live like a normal person. Yeah, and that is a lonely, hopeless feeling. And to feel that at six, and you're right. Like we say it's selfish because you know you hurt other people. But I have a. Other people have coping mechanisms. You have you know how to deal with stuff. Get over it. Like you're not saying it that cold, but you have a you can work on the loss that you just feel for your father or for your uncle who committed so whoever you you can work on that loss. You right. can put your life back together due to that guy's loss. But wanting him to not do that strictly so you don't feel those feelings is selfish, right? And people think like they've been sad in life and they've gotten over it. Mm-hmm. But you don't have the thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the and same that's, thing. I don't know why people can't just accept that, that I don't know that level of sadness. It must exist because obviously somebody killed himself. It exists. This guy didn't feel my level of sadness and off himself. Obviously, it went deeper than I've ever felt. So I yeah. should probably say I don't understand. I wonder if we're the only animal on the planet that commits suicide. I wonder if they've... Like if they how the hell like like say like a deer bear, like that's a why they get hit by, just like falls off a, a, a deer a, a deer that's why he walks out in the middle of the street yeah like Charlie no I'm done tonk I mean I like, wonder like, if there's any sort of animal like a monkey that like hung himself from a vine or just just or like threw himself off a off a limb and just let himself just, crack his skull on a rock yeah that's something I gotta Google or something you don't have to but you no wonder. but I'm interested now oh, yeah, I wonder no. because it's a weird thing to want to take your own life it is a bizarre thing right but i think i mean the feelings are probably there but like i think that because we are able to um verbalize and talk about what's going on we can we have the power to make it worse than it is i think someone who's feeling depressed has the power to make it deeper with their thoughts i wonder if like tribes have like like you know, like those like Inca tribes that are out there in the like, woods still. Like those, yeah, tribes like South America that are like dressed discovered. in red and yeah, like yeah. the red paint. Just not. They, I wonder if they have like depression and suicide. I, like, because sometimes you wonder, is like, are people born depressed? Is it like a like is a, like a, a chemical a, thing? 
is it some yeah i mean because like if you think about like you know babies it's like we're there's so much information coming mm-hmm. in like to to form them into a a person right like you know you take a you take a baby in america dump him off with the the tribe out there he's gonna grow up with what right. they think he's not right gonna, right right you know I, you know like nature versus nurture yeah yeah like i always it's i mean it's like it's interesting to think about you know what i mean like i wonder if uh suicide rates like because it's a it's very uh pressure to live in america right it's a lot of pressure a lot of anxiety i mean the, our whole way of life though great it's a great way of life if you look at it in terms of others but we're so you're stressed to civilize you're talking about like a civil like we are a civilized nation right like with the pressures of being civilized and all the things we want sneakers shoes clothes got to eat got to get a job got my car got to get all this stuff that we put on to be civilized and then you go back to these people who are living in the woods who just got to eat and protect themselves from animals and rain yeah to, uh, are there are they like going ah oh, man i'm done i can't i, I can't find any more well, apples because i cuz they don't know any other life exactly. to compare it to right so it's life right. where we see that be like i don't want to fucking be living in a dirt hut so I'm going to work my ass. You see homeless people that can't do what we do. Right. And you're like, oh, so I got to work hard. I don't want to be that. It's like this it's pressure. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, right. And you can pick like, a lot of comparisons. Like, I don't know. Dude. Like, they, like, they like, don't have like that. Like this one tribe to the other tribe. Like, dude, where'd he get blue war paint? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I want to no, afford blue war paint. <laughs> I I've been wearing red for 20 years. I think years. you take that element out yeah. because they don't know what they don't have. They don't know any of this. Right. So there's no, you know, vision. Like, it's like you... If, you know, 10 years ago, if I was like, you know, you could probably going to be able to get emails to your phone. Like, you didn't. Like, oh, you, I first saw that. Huh? Okay. No, but you would say, I don't need to get emails. To my, that's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. When I went from a flip phone years ago to you need to go to a BlackBerry, I'm like, I don't need emails to my phone, bro. Yeah. When I need emails to my phone. I remember, I remember saying, I'm going to go to the library to go on the internet. Exactly. <laughs> Before I had a computer. Right, so I mean, like, I didn't need emails on my phone, and then I got a BlackBerry, and then I swear to God, when I went to a Droid, I was like, "Dude, am I gonna be able to get emails to this goddamn thing?" Because I need to get my emails. Like, I didn't need emails at all to my phone, and then I need a goddamn emails to my phone. So these guys don't know what they are not have. They don't have. So there's not no pressure in that aspect. They have their own shit to deal with that we don't understand. But I'm sure they're not offing themselves because you know they couldn't get their spear to s- sharp enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, imagine that they're just like all insecure. Like, man, yeah, my, my spear is not sharp at all, dude. He he threw his through four coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Mine bounced off one coconut. <laughs> I got no strength, none. I how am I gonna how am I gonna get her love? Yeah, this guy kills water buffaloes by one. He throws one rock, kills a water buffalo. Yeah. I've taken, I've thrown nine water. I couldn't even hit the goddamn thing. Sucks. I'm killing myself. I but, so. but I think if I think about it, though, um, I'd rather uh, deal with depression and have all the modern appliances than to live in a dirt hut sharpening spears. Because you have. I grew up that way. Yeah. But yeah, you know I mean, like you don't. I'm not going that route. But if I bet you, if I said, like, say, like, there's a couple people you've seen, like you read all. I've seen like documentaries and people who've like put themselves in that just to get away from this. Mm-hmm. Like especially like big executives. Like of major corporations, who you you see these big execs and as people were like, dude, he's making millions. You should be happy, yeah. But his performance supports ten thousand people's jobs. Right, right. Yeah, you know I mean, he's got ten thousand families that eat based on his job performance. Yeah, it's all pressure on that guy. Okay. Oh yeah. People. So that guy that you ever see these corporate guys that take like that's why they 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 take themselves on. They go on like a like a hike for a month and they live out in the woods yeah just to have none of that pressure just to get away just to get away from all that pressure just all their job is to sharpen sticks and find something to eat and they're okay with that yeah see we see too much of everything and we think we got to be more and more we got to yeah achieve more because we want to be like the people on tv i think like especially kids now see it more than we ever did like yeah yeah like i gotta be a millionaire i want to drive this yeah it's like not just about just getting having a nice family and right. making enough. It's like, I gotta, I gotta be rich. If right, I'm not right. rich, I'm a failure. Right. And, uh, like I, who I was talking to, there was this old guy I was talking to, <laughs> I guess, uh, before like TV and stuff. And you're just like family. Right. You know what I mean? It was, uh, 
Like they used to, he said they used to drive to the rich neighborhoods to look at the rich houses. Right, right. It was like yeah, a yeah. thing. You never even saw the rich people. Yes. You just go look at their houses. I used to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah. like, but now we see it on TV. There's, there's, no, it's, I was you're... going through the, the uh, cable guide and there's a wealth channel. It's called Wealth. Really? And it just shows about wealth. Like, yeah, if you how do, how are you gonna furnish your zillion dollar home? Right. Yeah, we got gold plated toilets. We got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it, you're like, oh, I see. So, you ever it's see a like douchey some, channel? Yeah. You're like, Ugh. that's a douchey channel. But you ever see some of those real estate channels? Like they show these these people. They got two kids, but their home can fit nine kids, and they're like, you know, we want a marble island. I, I get it. You have the meat, but why? Right. You have the means. I get it. You can afford. Eighty-seven thousand dollar marble countertop. I get it, dude. But why, when you can buy the nine thousand dollar marble countertop and eat the same food on it? Why? Got to keep up with the Joneses. That's the old thing. They. It's all about perception. It's. I think if if people, I mean, I, I don't want to go so less. Like you see, like those pictures, like those hippie guys. Like I'm gonna go live off the land, get yeah, away from society. Like, get the fuck yeah. out of here with that shit. Yeah. I'm not bathing in a brook. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna make me happy either. No, no, no. That's like I, you know, like I, I just try to simplify my life. It's like, yes, man, I work hard, and if I can achieve greater things, but I'm not gonna hold my. I'm not. I don't feel bad for right. not being where I'm not. Right, right. I don't want to. Like I, I different. Like when I, when I hang around people like that, they annoy me. Like oh, when they think like I, I can't take. If that. I just had this, I'd be happier. No, you wouldn't. Right. You're just not happy. Right. Uh, and I can't take that guy, and I can't take the other guy who's trying to be too simple. I can't take that guy either. Oh, too simple. No, the guy, yeah. Bro, just be grateful. Shut the fuck up, asshead. You be yeah. grateful for eating dirt. All right? I'm not grateful. Yeah. All right? I'm oh, a- yeah. The guy that's grateful and just always. Uh, who was oh, it? Somebody wait. was talking about it. Like, there's like those people in the recovery that, like, that always equate it to recovery. It's uh, like you've uh, been watching a baseball game and them, yo, Yankees are doing great. I wouldn't even be watching this if it was like 10 years yeah, ago. It's uh, like, who cares, man? <laughs> Can we be in the moment? You got to equate everything. Can you enjoy it? I wouldn't even enjoy this conversation with you if I was out there on the street. I know. Dude, it's just it. great game. Dude, I'm just grateful that I can even see a game. Yeah. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> leave my house. <laughs> you have to leave. Why? Because I am ungrateful that I invited you. I'm very. I was grateful until you showed up. You've, now I'm not grateful any longer. Yeah, I'm very disappointed yeah. in my, <laughs> my friending recovery. you. I'm gonna unfriend you in real life, <laughs> which you have to leave. That's how I unfriend you in real life. Then by the time you get home, you'll be unfriended on Facebook, <laughs> and I don't care what meme you post about me, passive aggressively. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like like that extra over gratitude. Like just like something you can't. Everything isn't about. Because you don't smoke drugs or shoot heroin anymore, this is yes. We all get how the rock started rolling down the hill, right? It's Thirty-two years later, man. You know what I mean? We, you don't gotta just keep going back to the top of the hill and tell us how it got here. Yeah. If we pause, I gotta pee. I gotta pee too. Okay. We took a quick uh, pee break. Yeah, we did. And uh, I think that was nature's way of saying this podcast is over. Yes. So uh, we have episode one in the books of the uh, now what podcast. So let's just let's recap. Recap. Okay. We talked about Facebook. We talked about other stuff. Yeah, I may trim some stuff. Yeah, who knows what we're going to talk about? I yeah. mean, what are you going to trim? But uh, you know, that was uh, our first episode of uh, what is it again? The now what is it now what? Yeah, maybe maybe we'll talk like you know, maybe like about you know, like too bad we didn't get into your levity live weekend. Some show stuff. I think yeah, yeah. People like to hear about your absolutely uh, yeah your shows and stuff. We don't want to be too serious all the time. Yeah, you know I don't think. I mean? I don't really? think it was even serious, to be honest with you. No, it wasn't serious. I think people like it, but it's episode yeah. one. Fuck. Yeah. You can judge us on that. Right. Carry this on. Exactly. We gotta find our way. We're spinning right. in the mud right now. We gotta, <laughs> we're just starting. We just started the car. It's warming up. Absolutely. And this is, we call, we have conversations about shit like this when we're together. All right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Hopefully sometime in the next couple of days. Yeah, and then, cool. you know, we're going to set up an, an I'm going to set up an email address which I don't have right now for you guys to uh email us about the show. Um you can em- email me at mgcomedian at gmail. Yeah, or you can email me at joe at joefernandez.net. Uh you can go to our website to let us know if you like the podcast. I'm sure if you're uh listening to it and saw our link on Facebook, let us know there. But we'll be getting more of our shit together, but we just wanted to get this episode out and get it started. And um 
And yeah, so uh, thanks for listening. And uh, how, I, I had this on my old uh, podcast. How the fuck do you close properly? Uh, okay, here's how we close. <laughs> uh, you can find Joe at joefernandez.net. Yeah, that, yep. Yeah. And you can find me at mikegaffneylive.com. Go to our websites, look at our calendars, come see us live, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. That was a great closing. 